Hello everyone, I'm ChibiKage89, and we're playing a game for the Beta Satellite View, or Satellite View. But what game could this be? I think I recognize the music. Got like a good tune. Huh. What is this? Some sort of Halloween roller coaster ride? If you collect the whole Triforce, I'll give you a prize. Triforce? Isn't that Zelda? Wait a minute, isn't this music Zelda? Huh? huh? Whoa, what's happening to me, man? What's happening to me? The Legend of Zelda was released in 1986 and became a very popular game. It was thanks to The Legend of Zelda that the concept of action role-playing game grew to be widespread. Even now, the adventurer that has that was set in the legendary country of Hyrule remains in the hearts of many. I am Princess Zelda. I have been trapped in a dungeon by evil power. Her hero, hurry and rise! Hyrule! Hyrule is in danger! So this game was originally for the battle beta Saddle View, which didn't really catch on. It was some kind of strange concept that didn't catch on. So this game technically kind of doesn't exist, at the same time does kind of exist. So it's kind of like a released game, but yeah, unreleased because you had to kind of download it from the beta side of you. Which I think was in the 90s, so early 90s or something. I don't know when. Really tricky. Oh, gotta put in a name. What is my name? We'll just put down Chibi. And here we go! We are we already did this opening. We we don't Welcome hero, the people of this lot have been waiting for your arrival. Ah, uh, don't be surprised. I knew you'd be guided here by the stars. Now then, hero, gather the pieces of the Triforce that were snatched away and being then bring down the evil King Ganon. I shall send power to you from here. But pay heed, this world exists only for a predetermined time. When the moment comes like a dream, it will vanish. To begin, seek the evil king's dungeon, said to be said to lie somewhere within this land. Hurry, hero, take this sword. Yeah, that was another thing about this game. It was a time to play, so you only had a limited time to beat the game. I think like four weeks or so, something like that. So it was a strange concept. And it's made to be like a remake of the first Zelda. Using a lot of the same things, pretty much all the same things, but a lot is different as well. You can kind of think of this like the third quest of The Legend of Zelda, because the map is different yet again. It's like a smaller version of Zelda 1. And it plays like Zelda 1. It's a very good game, you should try it. Although, you can't actually go and buy it anywhere. So, you actually have to download this one online. Yes, we're playing on an emulator. But that's kind of the only way to play it. And, I don't know, I'm not even sure Nintendo minds you actually downloading this one because it's actually been around for a while, people have been patching it and stuff. So give it a try, search the internet for BS Zelda, and you should find it, pretty simple. So. Let's begin our Let's Play of this game that never was and yet was. Huh. It's really confusing. So basically, the character we're using is not Link, but the representation of us. Basically a me. Arrows cost money to use. And that beep was loud. But it let me know that a minute passed. 
Or is it an hour? I have no idea. I have no idea at all. I also have no idea if this is recording correctly. Oh well, one way to find out. Well, let's finish the play of this session to find out. Then we find out. So here we go. Ooh, a clock! So it pretty much has all the old items. Nine dungeons, well, 8.1. I have played this before. It's actually pretty good. So here we go through the dungeon. Ooh, look, a map! Hey, it's a letter S. It's not an eagle at all, like in the first Zelda. Where are you, hero? Above the ground, or within a dungeon, the evil king's minions will assail you. With your current strength, the battle must be trying. Your sword will be granted power for a brief while. Bombs can break cliffs and walls, especially statues embedded in them. And there are blocks you can move. I am now pursuing... Perusing a sealed forbidden tomb. Soon! I'll try using a spell from the chapter of lightning. Now, how do I close that beach bubble? Oh, there we go. So this uses a time concept, which I actually think is supposed to be timed with the actual time of the beta set of you, which I think had a timer. Really complicated stuff. Ow. So basically at certain points, special things can happen. Such as you can get items or stuff and days. Certain days you can get like some certain items or certain weeks you can get like certain items. It's really complicated like that. They were going for something complicated with time here. Which is interesting. So we get kind of power ups from all from different things, from depending on what time it is. And I guess what screen we're at. So really complicated. But then again, Zelda has never been a straightforward game. Hey look, I found a bow. Ow. I thought I should stab my sword to stab the keys. I think I say things. I think I say things right sometimes, but not always. Alright. Now we're back here. Get those traps to move. There we go. Now we can continue our way through the S. Ow! Stupid blobby little blobbies. Hello, you guy. Ouch. Oh, I got the beam sword. Is that one of the powers from the power up of time? It could be. Yeah, let's see what happens here. I think the powers might last for like five minutes or so. Can't remember. It's been so long. And it's only a guess. So, let us continue through the game, trying to beat all the monsters along the way. Beat these enemies, steal their wealth, we'll save up for expensive things like arrows, potions, and power rings. There are no Octoroks in dungeons. So, I can't actually go any further with the song. As we all know and love. And I forget what these things are called, too. Ooh, a fairy! Give me the fairy! I want the fairy! Okay. It's difficult because I actually have not gone through this game that many times. I think I've only gone through it once in my lifetime. Oh well, I still got skills. 
And now here's the first boss. Aqua Lotus Dragon the First. Well, actually, this will be the fifth. Wait, how many were in the first Zelda game? I don't know. But there! The Triforce! I have obtained the first piece of the Triforce, and it is freaking huge! It's like a whole Triforce! It's awesome! Now, if only I know where to go from here. I do not actually know where to go from here! Um... I guess we'll have to spend next episode just going around... Oh, the lag was real. Going around everywhere to see what we can find... Ah, oh, there's the cave. Uh... Well! Found level two, guys! And we'll save it for next time. So if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to comment, and we just lost Sword Beam. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!